use of pen tool is basically same in Adobe Illustrator and Photoshop. If you learn the basic of this tool, then you can easily work with this tool in both softwares, and by the end of this video, you definitely will be able to trace or draw anything with pen tool. Basically, this tool is used for only two purposes, one is drawing straight line and other is, drawing curves. Yes, you hear it right, if you know how to draw straight line and curve, you can draw anything. In this video, I will start with how to draw the basic lines, and then we will practice on some basic shapes, and finally we will draw on an actual picture. Now let's get started. This is the pen tool. As you see there is two options, one is for drawing and other one is for controlling. Click and make a point to create a line and click again where you want it to end, and keep making point to continue. I am drawing randomly, you can draw as you wish. To draw a curve click and hold and drag the line. As you can see you can draw a free curve now. And if I drag this to upper direction it goes down and vice versa. Now keep practicing this over and over. Just hold and drag, make a curve and again hold and drag. Practice until you are satisfied. Looks like our curve line is done. Now delete these. We will try some random lines now. With time you will learn to control the lines more. Drag in angle to make a curve in angle. Let's draw a oval shape with the curves. Just drag a line, make a curve, and drag a line again but in opposite direction. Now go to the first point and drag again, then adjust the lower curve, until you are satisfied with the shape. This is the direct selection tool. With this, you can manipulate your shape by dragging the points and also the handles. Now when it's done let's fill the oval shape with a color and then let's start over. Now quickly review what we have learned so far, drag, make a curve, drag again, close the handle so you can draw a straight line, and don't close it if you want another curve, so, that's basically the principle of drawing anything. Now, we will practice on some shape, so let's bring the picture here. Use what you have learned till now and draw with me. Make a point where you want your curve to change direction. This is what I am doing here. I used four points to create the circle. You can use less or more. Now draw the remaining shapes. When you have done drawing the circle, the remaining shapes will seem pretty easy for you, as they are mostly of straight lines. Continue completing these shapes and after you complete them, they will be filled with the previous color you used, unless you change it. If it creates problem to see your object, turn of the fill option. Like what I did in the case of drawing this star. Now I will draw the heart shape, using curve lines. You can use both curve and straight line, according to your preferences. As you can see I have used few curves here, you can use more curves if you want. After you have finished drawing, if you are not satisfied with the shape, you can zoom in the shape, and adjust it, using the direct selection tool. As you can see we have completed all the shapes, now let's draw something else. As you see, I have brought a picture from my gallery and now finally we will draw on it. You can start the drawing from wherever you like, it doesn't matter, what matters is that, if you are creating the straight line and curves right. You just have to focus on where your object changes direction, that's where your next point should be for creating a curve. If you need to turn off the handle of a curve, just simply hold Alt and click on the point and continue drawing. As you see I'm doing the leg area roughly making points, if you want exactly the same, you have to zoom in, and work point to point. Now I will just complete the picture in same process. As you see we are done, now just fill in with a color. This is how it looks. And again, if you are not satisfied with the object you can zoom in, and adjust it using the direct selection tool. 
Well, well, this was all for Illustrator, now let's draw something on Photoshop. So this is our interface of Photoshop and now I'm bringing another picture from my gallery. Now select the pen tool and draw using the same technique. As before you can start from wherever you like, you just have to concentrate on creating right lines in right places. I will complete drawing the picture in same process, if you concentrate carefully, it shouldn't be difficult for you too, even if you draw something wrong, you can adjust it later with the direct selection tool. As I said earlier, the use of pen tool is basically same in Adobe Illustrator and Photoshop. Well, so we have completed drawing the picture outline. As I didn't created a new layer first in Photoshop, if I delete the picture the outline will gone too but anyways you can see it if I move the picture. Well that's it for today, please like and subscribe if I could help.